What's up YouTube? Today I wanted to talk about hair clubs. Now, most of you might be familiar with hair clubs, but for those that aren't familiar with hair clubs, what are they? They are almost a monthly subscription service that include your hair uh, systems as well as installation, reinstallations for one low monthly fee. Uh, what this does is it ensures that you have a place that you can go, a place that can take care of you, your hair systems, do reinstalls, they'll order it for you, and they'll also do cut-ins, which is fantastic, right? It sounds like, oh, I finally have someone that can take care of all of my needs. And to a level, yes, that is fantastic. So I've been on this journey now for about a month, uh, excuse me, two months, right? And I've had one hair, uh, one hair system installed. I've had one reinstall. And this Saturday, I'm about to go get another system installed, brand new. It's going to be a Swiss Poly mix-up. It's going to be super cool. I'm excited to leave some reviews and also make a video about what the actual process is like getting it installed. I'm going to do a video, a time lapse, right? But what I wanted to talk to you about today is. There is a difference in quality between hair clubs, right? Now there's a couple different things. One, the quality of the cut-in and the blend, right? Like we want it to look as natural as possible, so that's really important. Number two, we want to talk about the relationship that you're starting with them. Um, so this comes down to education that they're willing to give you, things that they're willing to teach you. Uh, how protective they are of knowledge, right? Which is the opposite of what I'm doing with you, which I'm trying to share everything with you. That way you feel empowered. There's nothing worse than having someone who's a partner who tries to protect knowledge from you because they're trying to protect their business, right? And that's not a relationship you want to have. Number three, the third thing that you want to look at is price, right? So let's talk about price first because that one is the the easiest and often the the first thing that we look at, right? Like how much are we going to spend? Now, I know a local club in my area charges $300 a month, right? And this is a year contract. Now what's included in that is they say, we'll give you three hair systems. They don't say what kind or anything like that, but three hair systems over the course of a year and every month we'll do a hair install. So now if you do the math on that, right, that equals 300 times 12, which comes out to, math is hard. Um, anyways, around $4,000, right? Now, if you break this down over three hair systems, so let's just say $4,000 broken down over three hair systems, that means you're relatively paying $1,300 per hair system with the installs, right? So that means you're getting a new system installed every four months, which brings down uh, the price to, let's say, $1,200 um, for, and cut-ins are generally, you'll find them at different prices, but they come to about $80 to $90 by these places generally, and that's an adhesive, the wash, the cut-in, the reinstall, all of that work, which takes time, so it's fair. So that comes to, um, you know, three at 80, which is 180. That leaves the hair system at that club valued at $1,000, right? For a year subscription, you'll get three hair systems, all the cut-ins, all the installs, but it comes down to $1,000 for the hair system and around um, $80 for three installs per system. I'm sorry, the math, I, I didn't say it the most logical way, but that's really expensive, right? Because you can go online, you can find a system for, a good system for around two to $300. And installs will cost you around, you know, 80 bucks, right? If you go to a professional. So take a careful look at how much it's costing you every single month. Now these are, in my opinion, an absolute, this is so expensive. This is so far out of what is reasonable. And listen, I believe in everyone making their money. I believe in people actually getting paid to do what they do, but this is insane. The markup on these hair systems, we're talking about like 4X, right? That's not like, that's insane. No wonder people don't wanna to go to hair clubs and they feel chipped out by hair clubs. Now the second thing that I wanna talk about is the quality of the install. Right now, you've probably seen examples online on YouTube is filled with hair system installers or hair clubs that are pitching their services. They're making videos promoting their stuff and it looks like garbage, right? 
you need to be very deliberate about who you choose to go install your system, especially reinstalls a little bit less, but specifically installs first time installs and hair system cut-ins because here's the thing if they don't look right if the density isn't right if they don't know how to choose density they don't know how to choose hair color if they don't know how to do the cut-in my god like no one wants to look like they're wearing a hair system the reason we wear hair systems is because we don't want people to know we're wearing a hair system and this is why there's not a ton of content on this right here is because men are afraid to talk about this subject and I don't ever want you to feel like you don't have a place that you can go for knowledge so with that shameless plug like comment subscribe this channel right here and I'll keep it coming but this is why it's fundamental guys you, you've got to pick somebody for your installer if you cannot find someone local you've got to go travel just Go to the nearest big city, you will find someone, I swear. For me, I live in Florida on the East Coast. I decided to travel all the way to Miami, which is about three hours away, to find my installer. And it took me forever to find her because she doesn't have any media online, because she's not good at marketing, and which is something I'm trying to help her with. Um, so it's worth it though to me to go down like once every two to three months to go see her because she's the bomb. I was about to travel all the way to New York City to get this done and because uh, Phil does hair, in my opinion, does the absolute best work I've ever seen in my life, better than even the, the woman that I'm using in Miami. But she does like 90% of what he does and I, I love it, it's great. Um, so just please, please do your due diligence and if you don't find someone right away, that's okay. Do your work, search, go deep inside the internet, search on Google, search on YouTube, search on Instagram. You will find somebody. A lot of these people need help with their marketing. And I'm actually really passionate about helping these companies with their marketing because we need to get this stuff out to the world, guys. Like it is life changing for those that don't feel like they have a choice and they want to have hair. Now the last thing, in this right here, I am, ooh, Boy, it gets me so heated. I've, I've got to address this. Um, what is the relationship with the person who is doing your installs? Okay, so I'm gonna give you my experience with someone that I have used for a reinstall. Now, I went there and first off, they did not replicate the way that my regular install looked. They changed the hair line back. They receded it. Not a big deal. A style preference that's okay but here's the other things we tried out some new stuff because my original adhesive I was working did not work for me so we tried tape and it's worked great for the most part it's worked fantastic and I'm super duper happy about it right now I have told this person that I'm going to get my hair cut in and a new hair system installed from my woman in Miami I've told her this from the start that this is the way I wanted to go about doing things because it's the way I feel like it needs to be done right now now, I called her yesterday, the woman here locally that does my reinstall. I asked her, hey, what is the type of tape we used? And she goes, oh, it's, it's a tape. Um, I don't know what it is because the company buys it and I just, um, I just, you know, have it. Like, I don't know what name it is. I can't tell you the details. And we also had used a bond in the center of it. And I asked, okay, well, what's the bond? That seems to work okay. Oh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's just sent to me. Now, guys. Ooh, this got me so heated, right? Because I have a business inside of media doing film, animation, photo. Now, if someone came up to me and they said, hey, Jake, we need to, uh, to film a commercial, right? I would go, okay, that sounds great. And I did all this work for them, right? And at the town, they say, hey, man, we absolutely love this right here. Uh, what camera did you use? And I go, I don't know. It was just a camera. Like, it's not my camera, somebody sent it to me, and like, whatever. That would show such a lack of professionalism on my part and a, not a willingness to help empower my clients. And ultimately, all business is relationship based. Now, this woman, God rest her soul, she probably, not God rest her soul, God bless her soul. Uh, she, I, I don't think that she's malicious. I don't think that she's doing this out of bad intent in her heart. I think that she's probably a wonderful woman. However, I am choosing to invest in education 
I want someone who knows what their product is, someone who knows how they can help me, someone who knows that I want to learn, someone who knows that I'm not just going to go there and be a mindless puppet that they can make money off of. And I have nothing against them making money and I would continue to give them more money if they serve me in the best way possible. But the fact that they're protecting this information from me is really, really bothersome. Because guys, listen, like I'm not gonna be able to always go to her, right? Like I might move somewhere, I might go on vacation. And if she's protecting that information from me, she's disempowering me from living my best life. And that is not okay. I'm not okay with it whatever, like whatsoever at all. Now, luckily I do have this woman in Miami who is very empowering, who wants me to know all this stuff, who knows I need to know all of this stuff to go out and have a, a great life. And we're working together and that's fantastic. And, and this woman that's local here, that's not empowering, it's fine for now, it'll be okay. I'm going to find someone else though. So the, the lesson that I'm trying to partake, impart to you, if you will, is that you have to be very deliberate about who you choose for your hair club if you choose to go that route. I'm, I'm making my way towards being able to do everything myself because, not because I want to, but because I want to have the education. I want to be able to do this if I so desire or need to, and that's really, really important to me. So find someone that you can partner with, someone that will educate you, someone that treats you as if you are a valued customer and want they want to build a relationship with you over the long run if you don't. Listen, I haven't seen it yet inside of the hair system industry because I'm so short to it, but I can tell you in other worlds, like they're you can't compete with people that give away information and build relationships because that builds trust in this whole world. Our whole economy is built off trust. And if they're protecting information because they're afraid they might lose business, that doesn't work anymore. That doesn't fly in 2020, okay? So find someone that is going to give you information, someone that offers it as a good price. Oh, price-wise, I forgot to mention this. The My woman down in Miami does each system for $400. So yes, there's a markup and I'm okay with that because she's doing all the legwork. But $400 for that system versus the $1,000 that we did the math on earlier in the video for this competing hair system place, this hair club in Tampa, the place they don't want to educate me, the place that they don't want to give me the information, it costs over double the cost and the quality isn't even there. So. Pick the right place based off of price, off of the quality of the cut-in and the blend and all of this kind of stuff, but the most important piece in my opinion is their willingness to educate you as a customer, as a consumer, as someone who is trying to make this a way of living. And if you do that, I think that you'll have a great experience and we can go on the stream together, but please be careful of this. I don't want you to have a bad result and feel turned off to the industry because of some some professional who's not very professional. Anyways guys, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that way you always see when these videos are coming out. They're gonna be coming out twice a week. And you know what, leave me a nice little comment below that just says like, hey, I really appreciate this or or, or what you would like to know about. I would really, I'm really curious about the topics that you want to know about so I can craft my content around that, okay? See you in the next one.